Let's world some rims, or let's rim some worlds, and then we'll, for an hour or two, then we'll hop over to some Gartic games and some Jackbox games, which should be fun. So, um, for those who missed last time, um, you might notice Nitro's dead. Um, Nitro's dead, and it's not that only that she's dead, but her brain got motherfucking destroyed, which was pretty cool. Actually, it wasn't cool, it was awful. <laughs> her brain got destroyed. Um, Yasquatch is getting hunted by a red fox. See, this is why I, want to hunt, why I wanted to get that guy. So Nitro is dead. The way that she died is that Arctic was trying to shoot at some, at some mega spiders, or mega scarabs, rather, the insectolides, and he missed, and he accidentally, like, insta-crit one-shotted uh, Nitro's brain with a single bullet. A single actual bullet. And she was actually not that close to the mega scarabs. But it was she was like the, the, if you were to draw a vector from Arctic's, Arctic's position to the Mega Scarab's position, Nitro was in between them. But she was like far enough away where I didn't think it was going to be a problem. So I, I I didn't even think to like try to to place this group away from where Arctic was. And also he was farther away from everybody else, so I didn't see like where his location was. I was like focused on the main group. So it was just a comedy of errors, unfortunately. An ideology. Yeah, whenever whenever this colony dies and or wins, let's not go placing blame. Well, I mean, it wasn't intentional. It was an accidental, you know, it was it was because he missed the mega mega scarab. And let's be clear, Arctic is a really good shot. He's, you know, level 16 shooting. He's an incredible shot. The problem is, he's so good. What he misses it is very deadly. It is very, very deadly. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, the lights, yeah. So the lights are actually, uh, ex with the exception of the wall lights here, is this, like, this wall light here that's mounted into the wall. The mushrooms have, like, a bioluminescence about them. This is the, uh, let's see, Into the Wild Cave... Flora mod that I'm using that adds a bunch of cool mushrooms into the mix. Yes, yes, it was unintentional, he says. I was he says I wasn't trying to turn a plot to overthrow Nitro. Although although both Arctic and Nitro are, are both mods, so <laughs> it wouldn't really be worth for either of them trying to overthrow each other. Also uh, you have some temporary refugees. Hopefully we can turn them into some of them into permanent refugees or permanent colonists even. We got some buddies. One thing it occurs to me I should do is for for Nitro. I, the reason I'm freezing her in our in our food storage area is that I want to try to revive her if we can uh, find the means to do so eventually. Not anytime soon, but maybe eventually we can get one of those resurrection serums. They're pretty hard to come by, but it'd be pretty dope. Let's build ourselves a sarcophagus for her to prevent anything from getting at her. Oh yeah, sounds good. Uh, Shmoops, thank you for joining in, my friend. It's always a pleasure, my friend. Yeah, permanent refugees. No, I meant permanent permanent colonists, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Turn them into cowboy hats, which is which is to say, oh gosh, so I'm guessing you mean butcher them, murder them, butcher them, take their human leather and make cowboy hats out of them. Which you can do. Although, I don't know if that's something that I would necessarily go out of my way to do. <coughs> oh god. Oh god, so it's like, yes, that is exactly it. Cause just make one yourself. Interesting. Just watching the dumb shit unfold. Yeah, that does sound fun, honestly, Puzzle Boy. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff with that expansion that sound truly, truly remarkable. Sarcophagus. What do we have the most of stone-wise? We have granite. Let's make a granite sarcophagus. I promise not to take you for granite. Uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a Rick and Morty joke. There it is. So let's build that. Um, there was one other thing that I was thinking about after my stream ended. But I neglected to follow up on. Um, I think I need to figure out what to do about the meditation for Jim because he just recently got psychic powers, but his psi focus is so low. We need we need to have him meditate. And the problem is that the tree is so fucking far away. This tree is so far away. I need to double check what's his like medica meditation specialty. And I think there's a way to look it up, but I don't know where exactly. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Mr. Warbird. Hell yes. A pre-made ideology? Yeah. They can't- Oh, yeah, that's what I would hope, oh gosh, if they could develop them on their own. Maybe there's a mod that could add that in. Because, yeah, I would love the idea of them just organically creating their own, having it be completely random. They can change over time? That's cool. 
Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. So meditation. So dignified and artistic. So dignified means a throne or something like that, or a bone chair. Artistic would be sculptures, carvings. Okay. So, so yeah. So you wouldn't really have much for the nature one. In that case, we need. It sounds like we need to build a throne room of, of some variety. Or maybe not even a room, but just just some kind of throne thing. So let's say there's the bone chair. What do you guys think? I don't know if I have enough bones for a, th a skull throne, but I have a hundred. Oh, I have 154 bones. I have just. Oh, never mind. It's a thousand. I have just enough for a bone chair, though. We could get a bone chair. We could get a bone meditation throne. I kind of want to do a bone chair. Bone chair sounds kind of fucking cool. Construction needed. Um, and I, I, can you can you sit in the bone chair? I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to sit in the bone chair. Where should I put this thing? We can just put it in Jim's room. Or we can just we can just put the bone chair at the table. How's that? If it's a functional chair, presumably it probably can be. Um let's see, Jim's sleeping right now. Can anybody just like uninstall this real quick? Consuming simple meal. Can Arctic uninstall this real quick? Yeah, let's have him do that real quick. The B Bone Bone Chair. Bone throne. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so with that... There we go. There we go. Bone chair shall be constructed. So that'll be good for... For meditation dealio for Mr. Jim. In fact, what I can do is remove the meditation spot down here once that gets constructed. That'll be much nicer. Much, much nicer. Keep an eye on the mods, and yeah, maybe. What's up, Yuzin? Oh, no, it's okay, Yuzin. You, you, you've missed very, very little. It's cool. I'm glad to have you here. And I, I want to make sure everybody knows I'm never going to be sad if people are late to the stream or if they missed the stream. It's totally fine. I will never be like, oh, man, I haven't seen you for a while, and I'm sad about it. It's totally, totally understandable. But I appreciate people being here regardless. Thank you for joining in, guys. Glad to have people here in any capacity whatsoever. And there's no expectations, I promise. Yeah, some people. Yeah, I, I think you're probably right, Ogaso. Can I make a bone toilet? Yeah, yeah, people talk about the porcelain throne. Give me the bone throne, dude. Um, why did I disallow that? That was weird. Wooden dining chair. Yeah, no, let's let's make that bone. Oh, also, something was getting hunted. Um, Yak Squatch is getting hunted by something. By a red fox, I think. Let's double check. Uh, wildlife. One of these red foxes. We're going to want to hunt both of these, actually. So there's that one way up there. I bet there's another one. It's that guy right there. Oh, and there's Freckles. Can Freckles, like, fuck this guy up? Oh, she's got a bow. That's not going to help. So that one's probably getting in there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring all the animals in to our emergency zone. Actually, Fox McCloud can just... Well, yeah, let's bring them all in. <clears throat> About to leave for vacation. That's cool. What kinds? Uh, what kinds of? Uh, where can I? I mean, you don't, have, you don't have to say like where you're going, puzzle well. But like, what kind of vacation is it? Like, are you going to like a like a beach or like like a is it like a family deal? I just I just I always love hearing about fun trips. Yeah, yeah. Congrats! On the, yeah, congrats on getting to take a vacation. That sounds wonderful. Anybody curious? I really like the flavor on the hazelnut. A variety of this coffee beverage the uh, Starbucks double shot. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. I like it a bunch Let's bring these guys in and we need to defend uh, Yak Squatch from getting hunted by this this evil creature. So humans drinking a beer again. It's really frustrating I've told him explicitly Are we are we just out of beer now? Don't tell me we're out of beer. Okay, we're not. It's down here um, I've told him explicitly don't drink beer unless you're like super sad and Ewan is neither sad nor is he bored. Unless he has... Oh, he has chemical interest, though. That explains it. Yeah. Yeah, people having chemical interest means they'll just... means It just means they won't care. They'll just ignore your... Your your orders. Join with some friends. That sounds awesome. Haven't had a proper... Oh, God. You're, you're long over, dude, Puzzle Well. That sounds wonderful. I hope you and the homies have an excellent, excellent time. Van Raider animal is the guinea pig. Didn't I see, J Dave, you had one in your colony where, like, some, some, uh... Your guinea pig, like, fucked up some animals or something like that? Like, it was, like, fighting an animal and it won or something? Something completely silly happened. 
Let's see. So who's available right now? So Void is just chilling, although he he was wandering. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draft Void. Oh wait, no, Void's got a knife. Actually, well, Void's got a knife. That could help. Let's hope it won't come down to it. Let's get... Who has guns and is available? Not a ton of people, unfortunately. Um, Arctic is available. Do you have your gun on you, Mr. Arctic? You do. And can you move decently? Yeah, he can. Let's bring Arctic out. And then we'll also get... Whoops. Hold on, I just noticed there were conduits here. Where do these conduits come from? Oh, they're not even claimed. Interesting. I guess I'll claim them now. I guess I'll claim them now. I wonder what these were here for. I guess I could leave them there for now, but I guess they were there from a previous ruin. Let's have one person help him out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let... Should I, should I let Warbird continue? I think I'm going to draft Warbird. Bring him out here. On that way. And then maybe Gobby as well, since he's since he's out here already. This, this fox is going to be coming in hot. Not terribly hot, but coming in hot enough. Can I just put booze in his room? I, I that's that's actually one way to do it. Yeah, if nothing else. I definitely want him to have a a stock of booze at all times. Maybe actually, let's do that. Let's give like one square of booze to Arctic. Um, the tricky thing, though, is how would I forbid? I guess I could make, like, I could make a zone, excuse me, a zone that only Arctic could, could go to, but it's tricky because I, I like to let them be unrestricted. So I don't know if I can create a zone. Maybe I could do, like, a stockpile zone. Is there a way to say, here's a stockpile zone that nobody else can enter? It looks like it is not, yeah. Because otherwise, I would have to say unrestricted. Only Arctic would be unrestricted, and everybody else would have to be, like, limited to this one zone that I would have to manually define, which would be kind of tricky. So, yeah, I'm not sure if, of, a, of a convenient way to make it so that our only Arctic can access one. I'm hoping that if we just produce enough booze, and at the moment, we have quite a bit that we're producing. Um, I'm hoping that that'll just kind of solve itself, more or less. Um, I know none of these are being populated right now. How much booze do we have in the colony right now, for that matter? 47. Or so we, have, we have about 50 beers right now, which is pretty good. Um, I'm hoping we can also get some of the mushroom must tapping, because we have, we have lots of the Greyfield mushrooms. It was a traitor, right, right. He picked a fight and lost horribly. Right, because he's, he's blind as a bat. That's awesome. Make an area over the stockpile, then invert it. There's, a, there's an invert selection tool? How would, you do, how would you do that? So, you make an area over the stockpile. So if I were to say it, you mean, and I'm guessing you mean like, like an allowed area, right? Into managed areas. Oh, there's an invert button. I had no idea. Okay, that's a little bit better then. So in that case, so I would do this then. I would say, where's Arctic's room? Oh, for one thing, we don't have a room for him. We do need to have individual rooms. How's about this? We'll have, we'll have one stack of booze. Um, let's say manage areas, new area, um, Arctic's booze stash, mustache, mustache. I know it's like spelled differently, mustache. Um, so we do that and we say Arctic's booze mustache right there. And then we also put a storage zone right there. And we say, for this storage zone, um, <clears throat> you select all things except for drinks. Well, alcoholic drinks, that is. So as long as he has some kind of thing there, I'm surprised beer isn't down there. Is beer not a drink? I guess it maybe it might be a drug. Yeah, that's probably why. Drugs. There's beer. Um, Chemshine. Oh no, <laughs> powerful explosion. Oh, on death. Well, as long as you don't die. That's a little scary, though. That's a little bit of- that's a little bit fearful. Whiskey... 
Hopefully, if we have enough of the good shit, he won't have to go for the exploding beer. Moon, there's some moon sugar. Mushroom wine, very good. That probably means we have skooma then, doesn't it? Overclock, Psychite T. What is Scythe? Oh, I remember Scythe. I think it's a vanilla drug, actually. There's skooma. I don't think it's an alcohol, though. It's just like cocaine water. Tequila. I'm surprised that wine's disabled by default. All right, so let's try that then. So we got all that. So so thank you to Mr. Elgas for pointing this out to me. Because then... Oh, wait. It, it just occurred to me. I have to rename this. So... Actually, let's think about this. So if I invert... Oh, I think I said. So that's the that's the stash. And then what we do is we create a, even another new area. Wait, see, so that's Arctic's booze stash. Mustache. I can't actually view it because the menu's over it. But then we say, here's another one. This is, um, everybody else. Um, so there's everybody else. And we select that same spot, but then for everybody else, whoops, we invert that shit. Bam. So, let's, let's double check our, let's double check our math. Let's double check our work here. So, Arctic's booze mustache, everybody else. Um, okay, it looks like it didn't deselect that one square. There we go. Although, what I think I ought to do... Oh, actually, it occurs to me, we don't actually have to worry about Arctic Spoo's mustache. We can actually remove that area. It's the everybody else we would just assign to everybody else. Alright, so, and to keep with the theme... I'm not letting people get close. We'll just do that. It might be a little bit awkward for, like, Void here, but I think that should be fine. Um, so that one square will have some booze sometimes. Um, I mean, I want other people to be able to access the alcohol, just because it can help the other, you know, the other drugs and whatnot. But I definitely want one square of that to always, like, be a reserve for Arctic. Yeah, so it's a little bit tricky. I guess I could manually tell them to haul one pile of it, like one stack of it, up here. Um, up here. Or maybe it'll just kind of happen on its own. Um, I think that should hopefully do it, though. Alright, so here's that fox. Hunting like a fox. He's gonna try to still get Yak Squatch. We got Goblin, who's on the... Uh, oh, a fire has broken out. Where's the fire? Oh, oh, it's right there, okay. There's a major breakfast for Baron, who is fighting an infection, but he's probably gonna be fine. Probably. He's probably gonna be okay. Maybe. There's a fire breaking out, although it's a very small fire, and of course, we're still in a thunderstorm, so it's probably not like an emergency, necessarily. So we got the two shotgun boys ready to go. And then Arctic is right here. Oh, I see they're not trying to shoot him. Oh, because they're still trying to get in range, that's why. Whoops. Alright. Is he is he dead? He is dead. Alright, cool. So let's undraft. Go about your business. Wood wants to beat the fire out. Probably not a bad idea. Gobby and Warbird are going to eat without a table. Make themselves nice and sad. Very good. And Underwood is building... Oh, right. Yeah, we want to protect the generator. Although, there's a decent chance I might not even use the generator. We'll see, but I, there's a significant chance I might just end up not ever using it. Because hopefully, eventually, probably pretty soon, we're going to get geothermal power. Um, and the vent will use... This Eh, that one's kind of close. Probably this one. Probably that one, because that one's a little bit close to the top. This one's nice and convenient, which would be very good. Nice and sad. Absolutely. That's the way, just the way we like it. Oh, the fucking bear got the... Right. Yeah, I wanted to... I think that's one alpaca I was going to try to get, actually. We need to deal with this bear, dude. I wanted to deal with him last time, then we got interrupted. 
this beer is becoming a problem. Yeah, it's it's not like it makes them that sad. It's only a negative three, but it is a huge fucking meme, and it's an enjoyable fucking meme. Um, let's let's attempt bear hunt number two. This went fucking horribly last time, but I have some amount of hope that it'll win this time. Did Freckles get the dude? Did you do it, Freckles? Did you hunt the thing? Is Freckles a hunter? Um. No, no, she's not. She just found- Oh, that was probably the buck that got killed by a bear or by the warg, maybe. Um, so let's initiate bear hunt number two, then. So, Rafnukin's gonna hunt the red fox. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to... Cooking some meals. All right, how's about this? I'm gonna go and start drafting people. I wanna, like, do this right the fuck now, man. It's, it's 10 a.m. Now's a pretty good time, so let's get Arctic. Ravnugan, Jim, you're available as well. Nitro, I would I would bring you if we could, honestly. Um, Warbird wants to feed a meal to Baron. That's a good idea. I'll let Warbird do that. Void. Um, I'll bring Void as a knife buddy. And then Gobby. Where's Gobby right now? He's right there. Let's bring him. Freckles, you're hauling the buck. We can we can bring you along too. Saji, you're you're healing up. These three are healing up. You win. You're a little bit drunk, but that's fine. Uh, I'll bring you and Underwood. So everybody who's, who's who is drafted, follow me. I mean, don't follow me. I, I won't be leading the charge, but I will be directing you. It does, yeah. It's like, it's funny, and it's a meme, but it's a functional meme. It's a silly idea, but yeah, it's a good way to, like, encourage you to, like, build up like your your place as a room and not just like as a series as like a livable space and not just a series of of you know disconnected rooms it makes it a little bit more like it makes it feel a little bit more real it like the idea that your colonists are sad that you don't uh oh you are we oh i drafted you does he not have a gun or a weapon he has nothing um do we have a, a thing for you Ewan? i think he was one of the dudes that got dropped previously oh right he lost his leg um, you're pretty not good at shooting. I think I will have you in... I guess if nothing else, I will have him equip... A weapon of some variety. We have some fucking... Motherfucking murder hammers. That's kind of cool. He was using this guy previously. That one's actually much better. So yeah, you and we'll have you grab that guy. Um... Do we have any, like, good hammers? These are 85, 64. So this is the best one. 7.5. Eh, it's okay. It's not great. It's far from horrible, but it's definitely not great. Does anybody else have, like, weapons that they could be... Oh, that one's even better. The Shiv is really good. So, Baron has nothing. Saji has her bow and arrow. Okay, so yeah, that's the best we got then. What's up, Nitro? Get murdered? Yeah, yeah, Nitro knows all about friendly fire, unfortunately. It's okay, Nitro. We're gonna build you a nice and classy granite sarcophagus. That way people can, can you know, pay tribute to you. And hopefully we'll eventually get you the ability to be resurrected. I mean, probably not anytime soon, because that's a very end-game level thing, but maybe someday. Maybe someday, that'd be kind of neat. Now the fire is broken out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sad that I'm, that I got fucking murdered, says Nitro. I, I would never be sad about something like that. What a preposterous hypothesis. Everyone is slowly piling out. Emphasis on the word slowly. Oh, is this enough people for a motherfucking bear hunt, though? I'm a little, still a little bit sad. Um, oh, it's burninating our shit. Okay, good to, good to catch that, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and draft Warbird to help out as well. Because I am a little bit worried that this is gonna be an insufficient force for hunting a bear. Bears are kind of scary. Kind of scary, and I do want to take care of him before... Oh, I also want to relinquish the animals. want to take care of him before they de he decides he wants to take care of us. Uh, livestock. And then pets, and then the rest is livestock. Oh, I should also clarify. Next watch, Fox McCloud. Cool. And then I should also clarify for humans. Humans who wish to pay me tribute. So Arctic is unrestricted. Everybody else. So Freckles is the first to reach her designated position. All right, the bear is right there. The seal, and I want to strike now, although the bear is only barely, <laughs> barely, <laughs> bruised. So it's very, very 
uh, minor kinds of shenanigans here. He's getting he's wandering a little bit close. Yeah, maybe maybe back. I mean, he's not hungry. He's not gonna be hungry for a minute We're Gonna have like a firing squad here There we go looking solid looking solid. All right, is that everybody? I think it's everyone except void and and warbird What's warbird? Assumes the position <laughs> then we should be good Take one on the dome. Yeah, that's correct. Although Elgasta your your person got like murdered by like a bunch of bullets like by like lots of shotgun shells and shotgun Blasts whereas nitro it was just a single wound immediately to the dome Time for doggy. Oh, yeah time time to give doggy a walk. Hope, hope the doggy is a good girl I can't remember her name, but I know she's a good doggy because because you told me as such and I am I have no reason to disbelieve her good 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 her good good girlness. Alright, this guy is approaching. You're approaching me? Can't shoot the shit out of you without getting closer. Alright, so so far. Um Arctic is the only one. Oh, I just noticed the rain is gonna be a problem because we can't aim for shit. So this could be messy. I mean hopefully it won't be. Oh! I'm surprised he didn't go into into rampage mode. Um, revenge chance. Oh wow, only ten percent. That's shocking to me. I thought I, I thought the beast would immediately become angered. All right, so I keep wanting to do like the fun, like firing range formations, but uh, but then it's like, well, actually, never mind. We <laughs> we he's cause they're they're gonna move around so much. It's almost really not worth it. Just got the musket. Oh, it's Jim. Jim has the musket. That's too far out of range. Who has the battle rifle? That's far off Nugan. Also out of range. There's the manhunter. There it is. So yeah, that's one of those cases where you say you see it's 10%, but the second wound. I mean, maybe we just rolled high, but but it also might just mean that it's like a high 10%. So everyone take aim. I'm also going to put void on point. No, no pressure void. But we do kind of need you to to be the the the, the tank if it comes down to it, since he's the most armored and also is the best at melee. But it's a little bit scary because uh, he's any he, being melee with a bear, no matter how good at melee you are, being in melee range with, with a bear does not sound particularly fun. I like the sound of the musket. There it is. Very, very, that was actually not nearly as scary as I was worried it would be. Bears are scary, dude. Bears are absolutely scary. Freckles is going to try to haul the the dead alpaca. Let's also bring the bear because that's fucking free meat, baby. The area was revealed. Oh, some... It's pretty neat. Mine that down. Bring in some components. Very good. Very good. He wants to bring the 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 bunny that got hunted by the fox, I think. So we're gonna bring this bear. We got the alpaca. We wanna we wanna tame this alpaca. Okay, so that one was the one I wanted to tame. I thought there was another one that we were looking at, but that was the one we were looking at. Um, there was also there's a red fox we wanna hunt because that'll be the last predator on the map for the time being, at least. Um, and then ev we'll eventually wanna hunt probably the rat and the squirrel. Excuse me, the rat and the squirrel as well. We're running out of out of wildlife though, which is, you know, it was going to happen eventually because we had a lot of gazelles and does and such. Uh, I see Arctic is down here. We're getting more components, which is always good. We always use more components in our lives. Want to bring in the red fox eventually. Dolores is going to bring in the components. Very good. Dolores, you were wounded, but now you're fine. Got your shiv still very good, Baron. How you how you feeling, fam? Um, can be tended now. I'm gonna have you since you're comfortably ahead of the game. I'm gonna take you back down to herbal medicine, and Warbird is gonna do his. Uh, oh, he's already tending to you. Very good. Yeah, Warbird. I'm gonna say. 
Oh yeah, he's going for the herbal medicine. Very good. Yeah, we can use the cheap stuff. Exhaustion for Arctic. Yo, you should go to bed, dude. Pulling component. That's really far away. Um, why is Arctic exhausted? Did he not sleep the previous day or something? Let's put him back in an anything schedule. Maybe I've been riding him too hard. Anything scheduled for Arctic so we can get some sleep, get some rest. Uh, warm clothes, medicine. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to be done. We never did build a throwable torch belt, at least not yet. We just need wood for it. Yeah, we definitely want that. That way we can burn the dead bodies. Get, get, get them the fuck out of there. <clears throat> Warbird's gonna go for the Red Fox. Good, or I'm sorry, not Warbird. Farfanugan's gonna go for the Red Fox. Major Brick risk Dolores this time. Now, why is she sad? She wants to get the Grizzly Bear. Dolores, what's going on, fam? Oh, you're sad about seeing the dead bodies. Fair, understandably. And seven minor break risks. Very good. Everyone's just slightly sad. Sasha Baron Cohen, how you looking, fam? 85 to 76. I think she's gonna be fine. Tending was what was it? 38%? That's not great. Okay. So that sucks. That really, really sucks. I said that was a possibility. And a lot of them were very helpful for a while there. But that sucks. Now, what's good is that I don't... That only a few of them have bows. Most of them have melee weapons that are not great. So it's probably fine. But man... That sucks. The refugees betrayed us after all. I've never actually seen that happen when it's from a group. I've seen it happen from individuals, but I've never seen a group of refugees betray you. In fact, this is, so of the two times I've brought in refugees, both times they've uh, they've betrayed me. I've never had a refugee group that did not betray me. It's only happened twice ever, but of those two times, they've both ended in betrayal. So, yes, we did not know the true intentions. Betrayal was their true intentions. So, all right, so where is everybody? So, Arctic, Farfnugan's kind of far away, actually. So, Farfnugan will wonder. Well, she's actually probably going to get hunted, maybe by Ewan. Ah, uh, fuck, they're going to go for the animals. Because they're going to they're gonna want to kill us, but more important, they're going to want to, like, destroy our wealth. So, that's not good. So Underwood's probably going to go for someone in here. There were six of them, right? And there's six of us. This is bad. This is quite bad. Although, thankfully, one of them is quite wounded. Man, Baron, I wasted so much medicine on your ass, dude. Warbird was in the process of treating Saji. Man, we were, we were showing you so much clemency, and this is how we're repaid. Now, that's the thing. If we can take some of them down and not kill them, then we could take them prisoner and try to force them to join us. Alongside a uh, fucking opossum down here who I've probably been neglecting. Oh, no, she's been fed, so she's all right. And she's at pretty high resistance, though. But, man, we built you beds. We fed you. We clothed them, too. I gave them a bunch of clothes. And this is the thanks I get. <laughs> ah, all right. I mean, this, again, we knew this was going to happen. Or this could happen, at least. Um, what I'm going to do, because we need to get the animals out of here and I think storing them inside of here won't well it'll be okay for the people that are outside so half of them are inside there's Ewan there's Dolores there's one more person that's unaccounted oh there's Freckles okay so the half of them are outside half of them are inside so what will likely happen is that Freckles and Dolores are either gonna go for Farfnigan or they're gonna go for Apocalypse or Muffy or Squidly um you in fact how's about this I'm going to draft everybody. Um, Farf Nugan, um, you're doing a great job shooting at that fox, but I'm going to put you right up here and see if we can take out some dudes. Um, is, is Farf Nugan the only one outside? Is everybody else inside? Everyone else is inside, so um, Saji 
is getting fucked up already. Instantly getting fucking clocked with the uh, double barrel shotgun. What's Saji's melee? She's probably pretty. Yeah. Oh no, she's awful at melee. Warbird's better. Um, Baron is capable, is able to move. So we'll see what Baron does. I really don't know. She's actually locked in because the doors are going to be locked for her. So Baron won't be able to go anywhere. Um, let's see. Okay, then there's, then there's Underwood. So I'm going to put Jim here. Aren't you going to go right here? Actually, no, Jim, I'm going to have you... I'm going to have you help out. Arctic, I'm going to put you right there. Gabi, I'm going to put you right here. Um, who else? Whomst else is nearby? Where's Void? Void is... I'm going to have him over Saji as well. So yeah, the people inside are, are pretty set. It's, it's far from good and the animals I'm more concerned about. I think for the an I think for the animals, the prime is Underwood. Underwood is right where the animals should go. Um, let's see. Let's see what they do. So it's on pause. Underwood is gonna try to break the door. Okay, that's fine. I would say let's put Gobby and Arctic. Maybe Arctic right there. I want to make sure people can. People can see what's going on there. And then for Far From Nugan, you wouldn't want to attack Al Alpaca. Okay, so. Freckles is just moving. Alright, so yeah, they're gonna try to hunt the animals. Um, we gotta just gotta, we just gotta get the animals out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them. I guess I could just make a new zone, maybe. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and put them in the usual space. They won't all go inside, and I think by the time they get to this area, Underwood will probably have been dealt with. I hope this isn't a horrible idea. So, what is it called? It's called Indoor Panic, I think. Indoor Animals Emergency. There we go. So, let's try that. Farfnigan, I need to bring you up because, yeah, these guys are not going to pursue you. So, that should be good. Um, Warbird... <laughs> like, let's have Warbird attack Saji, like melee her. Saji is a colonist I would like to keep. In fact, I'm gonna have you melee attack her as well. Actually, could we just try to arrest her? No, because she's not incapacitated. Right. Although it shows that she's sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, activity resting. So she's aggro, but resting. So she's resting, resting aggressively. We can't, we cannot um, attempt to arrest her. Baron's up, she, and she's attacking her bed. You ever get infected by mega spiders and then try to break the bed that's healing you? Happens to me all the time. Apparently. So we're just going to beat the shit out of Saji while she's resting. Does that make sense? So Saji is getting the shit kicked out of her. I'm going to go ahead and say, Void, I'm going to have you go for this guy. Uh, no, I'm going to put Void right here. I'm going to let Underwood come to us because if I put Underwood there, then Arctic might shoot him by accident. <laughs> Happened before. Apocalypse is getting fucked real bad. Ruff Nukin, are you in range? Not quite. You're almost in range of Ewan, though. We might lose Alpocalypse, which would be unfortunate, but we have another Al Alpaca. Um, who is also male. And, of course, we could recruit more. So, I mean, I don't want to lose Alpocalypse, but we could. If it comes down to it, that would be an option. Um, we're taking, taking aim at this guy. <laughs> He's fucking dead. <laughs> and Void has collapsed from exhaustion. No, I thought it was... Arctic is exhausted. Oh, it's Arctic and Void. Okay, well, Void's just gonna fall asleep, then that's fine. Saji's getting the shit kicked out of her, that's fine. Um, Arctic and Gabi, I'm gonna bring them up here. Warbird and, um, and Jim, 
got Saji taken care of. Do we want to try to take Baron as well? I'm going to say yeah. I think Baron and Saji are the colonists I want the most. This guy got instant murdered, which is kind of a bummer, although... The only thing he was- the only thing I really liked about Underwood is he was a really good shot. Um, we have- we have our, our animals covered. Actually, no we don't because Naito was our animal person. Animals we mostly had covered. He was good at construction. Ah, oh, that sucks. We lost our- our bonus construction guy. Yeah, so that's unfortunate, but I mean... It was a- was it a single bullet that took him down? It was a single bullet! Arctic with his instant kills, man. A single shot killed him. That's amazing to me. I mean, he was a little bit drunk. But a single bullet... It wasn't even like we shattered his heart or fractured his spine. It was just... He's just dead. Of course, he was a wimp. So... But he's not just... Not just that he collapses, that he's dead. So... He's just not alive anymore. He just became unalived. Alivented. Um... Alright, so Void's asleep. So Void's out of commission for the time being. I think we'll have Warbird and Jim incapacitate Saji, then incapacitate Baron, and then bring them out to help out with the other shenanigans out here. Miss Dolores, Ewan, and Freckles are what remain. Oh, don't- you don't shoot at Squidly Scott? That's not cool. I'm amazed Saji is still, like, not- she's not gonna die, but she's getting the shit kicked out of her. Bite human teeth? Damn, dude. I'm surprised she hasn't dropped yet. A fire has been set. Farfnigan has taken some pot shots. Um, looks like Baron has lit her bed on fire, but it's a stone. It's a cave, man. That fire is not going to spread. Uh, all right, so. Oh, she's dead. What the heck? You can beat them to death, I guess. Yeah. I'm actually struck that she never passed out. They just, she just fucking died. Yeah. That's really a shame. I really wanted to take Saji as a colonist. She was probably the one I wanted the most. Damn, dude. Well, don't fire at, the, at, at at Baron. Just melee her. She never went down. That's that's shocking to me. Or maybe since she was, like, aggro but resting, maybe she was never going to go down. Maybe that was the issue. Because we couldn't arrest her is the problem. So maybe, like, the game had no... had no function for, like, detecting when they were down. That's really unfortunate. There we go. So they're going to start fighting. And does Dolores have a weapon... No, she does not, and she's she's actually not bad at melee. Uh, looks like Jim's gonna try to get the flank, and Baron's already wounded, so she she won't put up much of a fight, I don't think. Um, so then there's this whole deal. So Farfnugan has taken some pot shots at Freckles. Alpocalypse did get dropped, but he should be fine. Squilly Cotton's getting hit as well, which is not so good. Um. I'll put, I'll put these two guys there. I'm gonna put Farfnukin even closer. So Gabi is barely in range for Dolores. That should be fine. How's this whole situation going? Okay, we're overpowering her slowly. Oh man, I knew it. I was gonna say, I hope Gobby doesn't just shoot Squidly Scott. That's exactly what just happened. Oh, that's not true. No, we, we actually did shoot Dolores. Okay, so no, they're shooting her. That makes me feel a little less bad then. They're gonna try to flee. Alright, so those guys are gonna flee. Um, this person... Oh, did she die? No, she's just... Oh wait, no, that... No, yeah. Yeah, Baron's dead. So, damn, dude. See, this whole time, I thought to myself, if I do more melee attacks, we'll be able to drop people as opposed to killing them. But we don't know how to non-lethally attack things, even with melee attacks. What was it that killed her? Poked her in the heart? What weapon does Warbird have? It's a shotgun. How do you poke someone in the heart with a melee attack? My goodness. That is insane to me. And with this person, Warbird gnawed Saji in the hand. That's what killed her. Bite in the right hand caused Saji to cause Saji to die. That is absolutely bananas to me. I'm surprised that nobody ever dropped. It was just instant death. I mean, it makes sense that yes, melee attacks can can kill, 
that makes sense to me, but with, like, blunt trauma as opposed to, like, you know, causing bleeding, with, like, just smacking somebody with, like, the butt of your gun, that's, that is, that is absolutely nuts to me. I thought for sure we'd be able to take a, a, a prisoner, but, uh, but so far no dice. I think I'm going to just undraft these two, because I don't think they'll be able to get out here in time to participate. Uh, Farvnug, and I'm gonna continue having you move up, because these guys are on the run. They're on the lamb. Let's see if we can drop somebody. Okay, Dolores is down, but not dead. Let's see if we can take Freckles. And Farvnugan, yeah, keep going. It's gonna have Farvnugan, like, just go up entirely. Freckles headshot, very good. In fact, Farvnugan, I, I see you're trying to attack you and- Oh, is he- he's gonna try to rescue her, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have- I'm gonna have Farvnugan to keep- keep it up with Freckles if possible. Um, I know Gobby can't reach Freckles anymore. Did she pass out? Six hours? Probably not. Probably not. Is there a bandit? Yeah, exactly. I was, I was thinking the same thing. Like, is there a bandit on that shotgun? Alright, well, the only person we can take, then, is Dolores. So, we won the fight. We didn't- nobody is at any risk. Gobby got hit a little bit. He is- he actually got bruised pretty bad. Oh, his toe got destroyed! Baron, you piece of shit! Using a right fist, punched him in the toe. That's fucking mean, dude. Alright, well, um, that sucks, so we'll need that to get tended to, absolutely. Um... How's about this? It's not an immediate- Actually, no, we have to have Jem then. Jem has to tend to it, yeah. Um, yeah, let's have, let's have Warbird tend to, tend to Squidly. And Alpocalypse. Um, in fact, Alpocalypse has it worse right now. So, Warbird, I'm gonna say, go for Alpo Alpocalypse first. And then Squidly. And in the meantime, Farfnugan, oh, um, everybody, I'll undraft you guys. Good job defending the colony. It's a shame we couldn't take any buddies with us. But they did help with the big raid that we needed to defend, so I guess I can't be too mad. So if we can go ahead and, uh, and capture Dolores, we need another... Uh, here, let's just make a... I could just have her sleep in that bed for the time being, but we'll need to bring in a bed. <laughs> we actually have a... I mean, yeah, I guess we could just turn this into a, into a temporary prison. It has her name all over it right now. So, yes. Capture Dolores. Um, allow that. Yeah, so everybody else got fucking murdered. Allow those, allow that. Does anybody have... Oh, there's Ewan. Nobody has gear that we care about, really. Man, they all, like, they all had, like, very good gear that we gave them. Well, not all of them, but some of them had very good gear that we gave them. Like, good clothes. Although those aren't very good. I, I thought there was there were some people we had dressed up pretty well. Yeah, Dolores, you were already wounded, weren't you? Really good at mine. At least we kept our mining person. Mind shattering pain. We gave her good pants, but that was all that we gave her, apparently. Uh what else? What else did we lose? Oh, this guy got his head fucking chewed off, didn't he? Yes, yeah, somebody chewed his neck off. I'm gonna guess. Might have been might have been Fox. Fox McCloud. Let's go ahead and relinquish the animals. Um, the animals, so livestock, livestock, livestock. That's everybody else, livestock. But yeah, it's really, really unfortunate we couldn't keep Saji or Baron. Those are the ones I def definitely wanted to keep. But with Saji, I could see it because she was resting. I think there was no mechanism for the game to detect if, like, when they're downed, if they're already resting. Which I didn't even think about, but it kind of makes sense now that I think about it. But for Baron... Yeah, apparently we have a- there was a bayonet on the end of that shotgun, which is just completely nutty to me. That- that really sucks. She was a really good plant person, dude. I mean, I'm not gonna miss the pyromania, but everything else I will miss. And the wool cap. Yeah, I- I thought for some that we had given them some good gear, but maybe- maybe they hadn't. Maybe it wasn't too bad. Well, at least, at least we got something, though. How, how bad is Dolores looking? Four hours, that's not great. I think it's gonna bring you right on in. 
Well, I had said all along that, that was a possibility that could happen, and it indeed did happen. The colonists, the, the refugees betraying us. Right, Kindy destroyed. Right, Ewan was the guy. Yeah, he lost his leg. Yeah, maybe that was... Maybe when we accidentally destroyed his leg... Well, no, we didn't kill his leg, but his leg got taken out by the Mega Spider, and we accidentally destroyed his kidney. Maybe that was, a. Uh, maybe that was what decided to... To send them against us. God, he's gonna bring in the Grizzly Bear. He's gonna haul the Grizzly Bear entirely by himself, somehow. Not gonna question how that's happening. Um... So we got some fresh bodies to bury. Time to clean some dirt, says Void. Then he wants to go rest. Yeah, because he passed the fuck out earlier. Yeah, for, for Void and for Arctic, I'm going to put them on anything schedules for a bit. So they can rest up. They were exhausted. Although, actually, it's sleepy times right now. So I think for Void, I think I will have him stay on the regular schedule then. So we're, we're, we're about to do sleepy times anyway. But for Arctic... Yeah, for Arctic, I'm just gonna like give him like the day off because he's been working real hard anyway. Or she, she's been working hard, rather. So Warbird will need to be tended to by Jim. Arctic is... back into awful mode because he has withdrawal. So he needs a beer. At least that means less beer drinking, so... More, more beer for Arctic. He's probably not too sad about that. I suspect he's about to pass out, probably. So Apocalypse should make a full recovery. Warbird's gonna tend to Squidly, and then he will get himself tended to by a matter of Jim. Helping him out. Warbird, or Arctic is slowly bringing in something. Major breakfast to Arctic, not surprised. Medical emergency do oh Dolores. Oh right, right, right. That makes sense. Um Warbird, I'm gonna have you tend to her first then. And we'll of course give her the the, the basic stuff. If we can get to her. Uh this is looking like it might be kinda dicey actually. Death in one hour. I don't know if I can actually How's about this? Let's see who's faster. I'm gonna have Jim. Uh-oh. Are we out of herbal medicine? Uh-oh. Oh, no, there it is. There's four of it right there. Um, this might be a photo finish. He's moving his 85%. Jim's a little bit farther away. It's probably about the same. This is going to be a photo finish, but I... Th ooh, I don't know. One hour. If it ticks down to zero point... Well, actually, no. He's about to grab it. I think it'll be fine. Because it hasn't ticked to point nine yet. Ox is helping out, though. Do we have enough medicine? I think we're out of herbal medicine now. Which means we have to use either nothing or... or uh, the real meds. Now, Dolores will most likely have an infection. Just because she got real fucking wounded. Level 7 medicine. Well done, Warbird. Look at that. 81% quality with herbal medicine. What a fucking Chad. What a medical Chad. Now he's tied with Jim, right? They're tied, so they're equally good at medicine. That's awesome. We don't. We still need to help out Squidly, though. He's still having a hard time. He had a tentacle shot off, which is just not cool. Out of presumably eight tentacles, so missing one isn't the end of the world. Seventy-four percent. Well done, Warbird. He's doing a great heckin' job, dude. Right, so we'll need we'll definitely need to bring Jim out eventually to help out with um, the Warbird situation with his wound. Man, we were flying high, dude. We had like we had like fucking thirteen colonists in our colony at one point, and then Nitro died, and then the six uh, colon or refugees betrayed us. So we've technically gone from thirteen down to six. Although we're about to, we will eventually get Dolores, and we'll also eventually get hopefully. Uh, eventually get uh, opossum as well. So Warbird's cleaning this area as much as possible. Including the blood that he himself is bleeding. Gobby's got the fucking bear. <laughs> all by himself, like an absolute boss. Impressive, to say the least. 
All right, Warbird's cleaning up all the stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's important. You want to make sure to keep this as clean as possible. We'll need to deal with these guys. Oh, this is a- this is- Oh, that's a good point, too. We could just make that a prison. Oh, in fact, we did turn it into a prison, didn't we? Yeah. Because this wall got taken out. Right, we were going to ventilate that area. Yeah, man, we had- we had such high ambitions. I guess if nothing else, we can cancel that. Because we don't, we don't have to worry about ventilating this now. Um, not- not a bone wall. Just do a regular wooden wall. Right there. We'll just immure this person's corpse into the wall. Like a fucking Edgar Allan Poe poem. Um. Cleaning blood. Yeah, that's- that's important. Like, this is all very important. There's a lot to clean, unfortunately. And he's- and he's bleeding as he's cleaning. Alright, what I might just do... How is- how is Squid looking? Seven hours. Warbird's, uh, eating without table. Oh, he's feeding a meal to Dolores. Okay, that's actually very nice. Dolores, were you infected with anything? No, you weren't. You were just wounded. Tiny to Squidly. So we're out of herbal medicine. So I think we had designated some things to be to be plant cutted. It's so dark. And like the rain is so incessant, it's hard to see. There is some gleam cap, I think, on the map. Somewhere. Maybe not, yeah. Because we don't really have any gleam cap salves immediately available. Actually, not sure we have some right here. There's gleam cap there. Is that the only gleam cap on the entirety of the map? Yes, that's the only gleam cap, uh, gleam cap on the map, which is uh, unfortunate. But that is how these things roll, unfortunately. Um, Squidly Scott can walk again. As he be intended to. By Mr. Gobby. Um, he still needs tending in other ways, though. How's about this? Yeah, you still need to be tended. Um, and I can't have Warbird do anything right now. What? Once Squidly Scott gets rested up, can he rest there? Animal sleeping spot. I think he can, right? Let's see. So animals. Um. Let's just do this. Let's just make another sleeping spot. Right. Let's see. Is that within the zone? I think it is. Let's double check. See if that's technically in the zone. It is. Alright, so yeah, let's have a sleeping spot right inside there. That way these sheltered from the rain. If not sure if it really matters. What's up, Urkluzar? Oh, very nice. Was that that was on the uh, Variety is Hope channel, right, Urkluzar? Because I know you guys typically do those on Sundays. I was I wasn't there this time. I was there last week though. And the week prior. I remember, because I know Nary was doing it last time, wasn't he? I remember, because I know he typically will will do the... Yeah, yeah, he typically does the corruption streams on the Friday's Hope channels. Is that... Now, is that every Sunday, or is that, like, only sometimes Sundays? Because I know it's it seems like it's been happening with some regularity, but I don't know how official it is. Um, oh, Alpacalypse also needs to be tended to. Uh, Warbird, I will have you... Do that. Tend to Alpacalypse. And then Squidly. It's one- oh, okay, it's just once per month. With a- with a month off, I gotcha. Yeah, I remember at, at one point we were talking during that stream, like, not- you know, the whole group of us were all talking. And I- and I- I was like, man, we need- the, the world needs more, uh, needs more Nary streams. Cause honestly, he's a legit entertaining dude. I think he's a- he's a, like, a legit good streamer. And I enjoy his commentary and his insightfulness. Uh, but he's mentioned that he's just- on obviously and understandably a very busy dude between the RTC and his actual job and a bunch of other things that he's doing um, It's you know, it's hard to find the time for it So I don't blame him whatsoever, but I do really enjoy his uh, his his uh, his stream the streams that he does um, Life-threatening blood loss. I mean she'll be fine other than the blood Or Kuzar, have you considered doing some of those those Sunday streams then on the uh, on the channel? Let's unpause let Warbird do his thing. Yeah, stab with a shiv. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it, man. That'll do it. Bleeding out in 17 hours. Warbird's gonna be in a bad shape in 15 hours. And he's exhausted. And he needs rest. And he's sad. 
So it's not a medical emergency necessarily, but he is feeling shitty. We're gonna keep people from dying. People and animals from dying. This is a good medical experience for him, if nothing else. Medical 7, yeah. Forty percent with no medicine, which is impressive. Adding challenges is a little bit tricky, though. Yeah, right. That's exactly it. Like I imagine doing this kind of thing procedurally is probably kind of tricky, because yeah, it's a matter of like finding the right addresses in memory and knowing which values correspond to which power up or to which states, which property that you want to modify. So that makes sense. There's no, there's not necessarily any failure states though. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it really depends on how much time you want to spend on it because this seems like the kind of thing that you could build up You could build up significantly if you wanted to But takes a lot of work and you've obviously already got a lot of things to do with the RTC and and again in your own job and your other pet projects that you want to do so You don't have infinite free time understandably But it is really impressive dude starvation warbird It's possible to make it into a bigger thing. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's kind of a good Proof of concept to show what's possible and like what could be expanded further. Yeah, I know you said like this was like I don't want to like quote for you, I don't want to speak for you, but I know you said a couple days ago like this is one of the things you kind of had in mind when you started working on the RTC years ago. It's like eventually having some kind of built in engine where something like this could be done, which is so fucking cool. Right, so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna we're gonna tell Warbirds to rest and then I'm gonna give him the day off because Warbirds been burning the, the midnight oil. Keeping everybody alive, animals and people alike. But there's a there's a lot of wounds to tend to for all these animal friends. That's really fucking cool, Urkluzar. Yeah, for those who don't know, Urkluzar, for those who have watched my corruption streams, Urkluzar is one of the main developers, one of the two main developers behind that tool. And he's pretty much like the, the dude who conceptualized the whole thing from the get-go. And, uh, Neri is obviously a, a, a tremendously valuable developer for that group as well, but Urkluzar was like the, the main guy who started it and was the brainchild behind, behind it's, uh, he, he is the, he's the, he's the mad scientist behind, uh, the project and all of its ambitions. And, uh, and that's why, for anybody curious, that's why I gave him the VIP one. Anybody who's like a, like a developer or, or like a, somebody who's worked on a thing that I've streamed, like that's you know that's one of the it's either that or for like family members or or like my girlfriend for instance like I'll I'll give them the VIP badge because it's like they're they're a they're like a key member of of something that was that was noteworthy or is noteworthy in the case of the RTC. Also, we can take this down to twenty as opposed to ten because we're not having to feed nearly as many people now. Eight years to fully achieve the tech. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like. I get the impression that you probably, I, I don't want to, again, I don't want to, I don't want to like speak for you, but if I had to guess, I imagine what happened is that you probably started doing some things with the intention of like, yeah, maybe building this bootleg remix thing, but then saw what was possible with corruptions. And I was like, okay, let's go into this kind of, this fork over here. And then, yeah, then you kind of like came back around to the original idea. So it's kind of fun how that worked out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a, I'm a huge fanboy for everything the RTC has done and, and, and stands for. Of course, I love, you know, watching, you know, when Vine Sauce would stream the corruptions and all that jazz, but then getting, seeing the, uh, the Discord server, like seeing yourself and Neri and, and the, all the dudes and dudettes who have contributed to the project and seeing how it's kind of taken on a life of its own. And then there's the, the, um, um, Bit Furnace, I think, Chip Furnace, the Chip Furnace project, which is another, uh, sort of corruptions, uh, more of a music corruptions project. Like there's just so many things beyond just one or two channels. Now it's like a bunch of just cool shit. Which is nice to see. And Warbird just straight up collapsed. Because he is having a rough time. And it's still technically a medical emergency, which is kind of surprising. Let's have, um, let's have Farfnugan. Who is really far away. Let's have Farfnugan rescue Warbird. Oh wait, no, no. She's actually busy with something. We'll have Jim. Butcher, uh, butcher. <laughs> rescue, rescue Warbird. Don't butcher him. Yeah, don't do that. Don't butcher him. Rescue him and then give him some meds, although we don't have any actual meds. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say... Should I give him, like, the real meds? There's really nothing that's, like, worrisome. It says it's a medical emergency, but it's just bad blood loss, so... I'm just gonna tend to Warbird. Um, oh, we do have herbal medicine. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Let's do that, then. Easy peasy. 
keeping the scene alive. Yeah, and you're doing a really good job. I'm sure it's probably fucking exhausting. And, um, and I'm sure that a lot of your work probably goes under underappreciated. Um, because I know that, I, again, I don't want to speak for you guys, but I get the impression from you, Urkluzar, and probably to, from Neri to a degree, that both of you guys don't necessarily want to be the stars of the show. You prefer to kind of, maybe, again, maybe I'm reaching here, but it, it seems to me that you prefer to kind of work in the background and to kind of work quietly and, and to, and to, you, you believe very much in the, the entertainment value and the like edge and like the uh, like the technical education behind pr uh, corruptions and the fun stuff that can come from them um, but as a result I get the impression that you guys are, are maybe not everybody knows all the hard work that goes into it and uh, and and just how much of a of like a focus it has been for you guys uh, has he been fed he has not been fed let's let's feed actually I'll let him continue cleaning because we do need to clean but I want to make sure he feeds warbird as well Corrupt Mario World, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. Various polygon spikes, then it would it would have gotten boring quickly, exactly. If they wouldn't have made any S remakes, yeah, it's like it's an interesting idea. I'm almost kind of sad they haven't done more. Um, all right, feeding Warbird, good. I'm kind of surprised they haven't reimagined or reinvestigated that game possibility because I think it's a cool idea. This notion of a like a like a series of in-game challenges based on you know, o older games, obviously. But, like, having, like, rotating challenges uh, based on older games with certain properties being fulfilled. I think it's a cool idea, and I'd love to see it realized more. Also, our corn's on fire. It's gonna make popcorn. Let's have somebody deal with it. it looks like Void. No, not Void. Is somebody gonna deal with it? <laughs> Hopefully. Also, we need to get rid of these bodies, which is just... plugging up the works here. There we go. We're gonna beat the fire up before this corn gets destroyed. <clears throat> Warbird can walk again, although Warbird, I'm gonna have you... Okay, he's gonna grab his shotgun and then go back to resting. Yeah, like an SNES Remix or an N64 Remix, that'd be fucking dope. Or even just an NES Remix Switch version, you know, where it's just a port of the first game and the 3DS version, I think, which have separate challenges. Or something, there's some difference between the two of them. Um, even just port them and like, you know, see... If, there, if new ideas come from that, like a like a port with some new bonuses, even if it was strictly NES, I think it's still a cool idea. Yeah, you guys have to make it. Yeah, exactly. It's like fuck it, I'll make my own. It's like the guys who made the Zelda Maker game. There's Mario Maker, obviously, but people they made the Zelda Maker project. It's like fuck it, man, I'll do it myself. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we need to try to try to uh, recruit Dolores. Um, with some resistance, obviously. Hers is worse, but yeah, some resistance would be good. Um, one thing that occurs to me, we need to reinvestigate our work schedules, because now we've lost a bunch of people, including Nitro, so we have to reconsider um, what can be done. Warbird's healed up. Very good, Warbird. He's feeling a little sad, though, because he's... He's, well, for one thing, he's malnutritioned and lost a lot of blood, but he'll be fine eventually. He also lost a toe, which means he can't move as quickly. Can't walk as quickly. Um, Five Nugent is feeding Dolores. Should probably try to sweet talk her. Okay, maybe not yet. Um, and yeah, we need to move a bed over there. Oh, uh, we never actually did that, did we? Yeah, let's reinstall one of these beds over here. Now, there's probably going to be a prison break at some point, so we have to be ready for that when that happens. Jim's going to fucking butcher this bear like a boss. You don't want to get too much spotlight. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Uh, Urklazar, yeah, it's like you worry about... If it, the second it gets picked up by a fucking, you know, Rock Paper Shotgun article I've written about it, then... Then the... Then it has been uncorked, and the, and the secret's out. Gabby's gonna work on the Bone Throne! The Bone Chair! For Jim so that he can prey upon it. So I'd see it's after five. Um, let's consider here. So I've been streaming for about an, almost two hours. Um, I would love to keep streaming this, uh, although I think it is very much in my interest and maybe in others' interests as well 
to do some Gartic phone and some Jackbox. Um, quick, like, quick little, just kind of a verbal poll of the chat. Who would be down for Gartic phone or words on stream or Jackbox? Some like, you know, just some general party games. Um, if I were to start that up, um, just, just, you know, type, 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 type 69 in the chat if you're down. Or if you're not down, type 420 in the chat. Or, or type something, you know. Just, just to get a general idea. Keep my finger on the pulse of what the people want. Because I'm definitely down for some multiplayer shenanigans if others are down to participate. Because, you know, I love playing RimWorld, but we'll probably stream more of this tomorrow, honestly, so. I'll, I'll be able to get my fix that way. And a lot has happened in just an hour and a half or so of, of RimWorld because, um... He's still incapacitated, and he's been tended to. Uh, Squidly's healing up. So he'll be, he'll be fine. Although he can't see right now. Is that because of his... Oh, I think they normally can't see anyway. Oh, or he can, but his shit got fucked real bad, so it needs to heal up. You know, sooner than later, hopefully. Yeah, there's a lot of things to be done. Bringing the, the recurve bows we gave them, yeah. Yeah, we armed them, we clothed them. We fed them. They tried to murder us. And they they took they took one of Warbird's toes, which is just weird and mean. Apocalypse has collapsed. Um, I mean that's not good, but it's fine. Oh, he's he's not been fed though. Let's put this. When Warbird wakes up, looks like he is awake. He's gonna rescue Apocalypse and probably feed her, or feed him rather. There's the fission now, still chilling. Chilling like a villain. Arctic continues to do the mining. Now, one thing that occurs to me: what happens if you do the smooth surface? As if you if you do smooth surface, does that let you run wires? I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious because I saw there was a. I was watching somebody, and they were doing the smooth surfacing instead of mining and, like, replacing. So I wonder if, if like, the smoothened surface is enough to run wires through it. I think that would be a construction job. But yeah, maybe I don't have to do mining. Major break rest, Jim. What's wrong with Jim? Oh, well, lots of things. Lots of fucking things wrong with Jim. Lost his fiance, lost his son. It's actually a double whammy with Nitro, his friend and his fiance. And had to cancel a date. Although his rival died. Ewan's dead and he's like, there's some justice in this world. Witness to Yeah, so it's a it's a fucking quadruple ram whammy when Nitro died. Family member died. Well, actually, no. With with um, family member would be Gumpy, actually. But yeah, like, you get, you get multiple sad things that happen all at once. Set owner Jim. And I think we also set a meditation spot there if I'm if I'm not incorrect. And thank you, Master Gamer, for that follow. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well, my friend. We're actually gonna be switching over to some Jackbox and some Gartic games probably pretty soon if you'd like to join in. Um gonna do that shortly. I want to like do a few more things. There's the meditation spot. Oops. And just right there. Space already occupied. So we have the Bone Throne. Oh, that designates this whole room as a throne room then. Oh my. I wonder if that's a bad thing. Maybe I should move this. I guess we'll, we'll see if there's any badness that comes from that, but hopefully it'll be okay. okay so we'll build a wooden wall there. I, I want to get power into this room eventually. In fact, what I should go ahead and do is... Cue this up. Dolores can walk again. Very good. And she never got an infection, which is shocking. But she got messed up pretty bad. Where's lighting? Power. Would it be under furniture? It's under furniture, I guess. Yeah, wall light. There we go. We definitely want to wall light there to brighten this up a bit. Yeah, what we could do is, yeah, let's try the smoothening. It's like having a smooth brain. Yeah, some Jackbox. Yeah, we'll do some Jackbox. Just some party games, that kind of shit. Should be fun. It's always a fun time getting to do that on, on weekends. Some some various shenanigans with the friendos. Oh, poor Jim has to see the corpse of his of his fiance there. Dead for 3.2 days, but she's being she's frozen. Fresh, never spoiled, hopefully. Hopefully. 
Uh, Apocalypse can walk again. Very good. Relaxing with Void. Very nice. And Apocalypse was fed. She was not fed. Um, in that case, I might have Warbird. He wants to go resting. Yeah, that's fair. Actually, maybe I will have him feed Apocalypse real quick. Before he goes to rest. I just want to make sure that the animals are all fine. The animals are in their normal space. Yeah, they're in their normal zone. That's good. Now, there is a cougar on the map. We might have to deal with that eventually. There's also a single big doe lad. Actually, not too far from us, which is a little bit concerning. Alright, so Warbird's got some corn. 17 corn to feed this lad. Arctic's going to sleepies. I think we can go ahead and put Arctic back on the regular schedule. And then Warbird, I think, we'll also put on a regular schedule. I think things have, have normalized a bit, at least. Of course, the fire is broken out. Yeah, lots of fires, because this thunderstorm is going to rage for several in-game days. Which is good and bad. It's good because it's going to decompose these corpses very quickly, which is a very good thing. But it's bad because it's going to decompose other things, like these puppies, which we want to bring in. This corpse, not so much, but we definitely want to bring those things in, if possible. Um, I don't really care so much about the corpses, but I definitely want to bring in the gear, if if possible. Caravan of animals. Some macrochinia? Macrochinia, apparently. Let's see what this is. This is a giant camel thing. What is this? It has a trunk, but its nostrils are located on the top of its head. Extraordinarily agile, because it is rapidly... Um, oh, its ability to rapidly change directions while running at high speed. So it is a... It is a vegetable... A, a vegetarian animal. And it's not that hard to tame... I don't know what purpose it has. It doesn't really have much DPS. I don't know why we would want to tame it. I guess we could tame it and maybe sell it. That could be kind of cool. Let's try to tame this guy. And he has some stuff. He has some kibble, some wood, some cloth, some silver. Just some good various miscellaneous things, but nothing that's like immediately super great. And of course, again, I need to reconsider here. Who should be our handle animal person? Probably Gobby. Because Nitro was our handle animal person. Actually, I guess maybe Jim. Because he's the best one for it. Although, Gobby could get better at animals. So, we'll set them both to two. Because, yeah, Nitro handled a lot of things for us. She was our animal person. She was also one of our main social people. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's reconsider the work here. Like, where do we have shortages? So, Warbird's still our main Doctor Man, as he shall remain. Um, what else do we have, though? So, we have hacking, although we don't have any need for that yet. Same with maintaining that. All plus, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, um, Arctic probably sh Well, Arctic maybe could do Hall plus. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say Jim can help out with, with Hall plus. We either sacrifice cooking efficiency, or we sacrifice research efficiency. Um, so we'll do Jim for the time being. Um, I will take Jim and Warbird off of basic. So Warden is still far from Nugan, that's good. Major break was American Warbird, but once he gets to sleep, he'll be fine. Uh-oh. An, an alpaca has gone mad. Is that the- that's the one I wanted to tame, dude! Gosh darn it. I mean, I guess we can just- oh wait, no it's not. It's not the one we wanted to tame, that's the one. Now, the good news is that people are going to sleep pretty soon here, so it might not be a problem. Warbird is going to rest, yeah. In fact, Warbird and Farfarnugan are the last ones up, so that might resolve itself. Anyway, yeah, so Warden, we're fine. Handle animal, we just set. Cooking is fine. Construct, or hunting is fine still. Construct, we still have Gobby as the backup, or actually Jim and Gobby 
as constructors. Gobby's the main plant guy. Man, it's a shame we lost both of our really good plant people, though. Warbird can do plant stuff, but I need to have, have him focus on the research. Although Arctic isn't bad plant stuff. Maybe I could set Arctic back to two. Maybe Arctic unplant. Well, the problem is he's, he's not as good, so he's, he's not going to... He's going to botch more shenanigans if he attempts it. And of course, there's the risk of... There's the, the fact that he won't level as quickly. Because nobody has, like, the big passion for it. In fact, I think Gobby is the only one that has skill, but even he doesn't have the passion for plants. Yeah, so no one really levels up very fast. Uh, mining is still Arctic. Uh, although, if we can get Dolores to join, to rejoin, then we can get Dolores back as well. We don't have any art. Uh, Void is, uh, is still our... Wait a second, was it Void? Who's our main craft guy? So two two factions have declared war against each other. Yeah, Void is our... Although Craft is set to th two, or three instead of two. We can set that to... Oh, interesting. That's why. Protection fee. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Refuse the offer. The thugs from Histia Empire. Trying to... Trying to pull one over on us, are you? I'm a little bit surprised. I I'm, I wonder if I should set this to crafting. The thing is, I don't know what tasks involve crafting. Weaving wool, master weaving. I guess that's fine. The thing with Gobby is he has a lot of other tasks to do. I think I'm going to set that to two as well. For void. And, uh-oh, colonist each treatment. Hold on, I'm going to see what that is in a second. Um... Research. I think everything else is covered. Alright, so what happened here? Colonist needs treatment. Arctic. What happened to Arctic? Why, why did he get injured suddenly? Oh! Oh, he followed him in! Oh no, the maddened dude! Okay, well that was unexpected. I didn't think he was gonna follow us in. Alright, well we need to fucking... Batten down the hatches then. So Arctic got bitten, I think. Bruised by his leg. Yeah, so I'm going to draft Arctic and have him run this way. I'm going to draft Gobby as well, see if the two of them can deal with this alpaca without waking everybody else up. There we go, he shot him while he's, while he's running. And a feralist clutch, mother! We've already dealt with one of these, man. You're telling me we have to have another one of these things, man? Carrying a clutch of eggs. Yeah, yeah, giant fucking spider guy. And he's really close to our colony, too. We'll have to deal with his ass, too. That's fine. We've dealt with this once before. We have more colonists this time. Got his ass. Nice. Well, it's unfortunate, but that's fine. Um, Arctic will need you to get healed up. We don't have much medicine for you. We'll get him tended to. So Gobby's gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna haul that away. And Dolores is feeling shitty. Gosh darn it, man. When it rains, it pours. Try to calm Dolores down. Far from if you can help it. Arctic's gonna grab a meal, then go to rest for a bit. He should be fairly easy to heal up, I'm pretty sure. So once things are stabilized, once we get things kind of calmed down, we'll go ahead and switch over to Gartic and, and Words on Stream. We'll probably start with Words on Stream as a kind of a lead-in to some party shenanigans. He's gonna drink a beer. He's like, fuck this, man. I just got accosted by an apaca. I need to drink a beer. Take the edge off, man. Uh, people are waking up. I guess it is 6 a.m. technically, so it is... Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey time. Let's see if, if Farfnugan is successful. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Does this increase her social skill? It does. Even though she failed at doing so. Um, can somebody else try? Jim? No one else can try. Okay, well, she's just going to be sad for a bit. And now, uh, and... Farfnugan derided Arctic's attitude. Arctic's like, I need to shoot a few bullets. After that, I should rest until healed. Although, like I said, it won't take much to rest up. Things are stressful in our colony, man. We were we were th really thriving for a bit there, but things have gotten a bit stressful. We need to haul these bodies away, man. I'm just making people sad. Jim's bringing some shit in. Very good. 
Um, is there other stuff to bring in? I know there was a knife. I think we got that. There's the Fairless Clutch Mother, which is already producing eggs at an unfortunately fast rate. Um, I need Arctic to get healed up. Once he's healed up, I think I'll go ahead and draft everybody. Oh, never mind. We have a raid of bad guys coming at us. They'll prepare for a while, and then they will attack. Let's see what we're talking about here. Four dudes with, uh, melee weapons. And that's pretty much it. Just four dudes with melee weapons. Not too bad. Let me make sure it's only the one group. Nobody coming in from the back door. That should be pretty okay for the most part. One thing that occurs to me I should do real quick while I'm thinking about of it is to make sure I designate anything that can be harvested. Which is to say a lot of things. 50 at 78 things to harvest just inside of our colony. So that was a, a cool... Ninety-eight things. These are already already over harvesting. That's incredible. So in that case, I'm gonna say orders harvest. Um, looks like a lot of rice and some hops are ready for harvest. The cotton still got a ways to go, but it's getting there. Corn is getting there, but it's got a ways to go still. All right. So yeah, I want to deal with the spider, but I also have these guys. Oh, they're getting fucking obliterated. Oh, never mind. It stopped. They were, they were about to get obliterated, but it missed. Some jade. That's actually really cool. A chunk of jade dropped. So they're going to prepare for a while. We'll get another notification when they start to hunt. Or uh, raid, that is. Um, I'm hoping that this cougar will maybe get hungry on one of them. That'd be pretty convenient. <laughs> we'll find out, though. So Jim's going to milk Yako Ono, which is just a strange sentence that I regret saying out loud. Um, we will want to bring this buck in. In fact, for this... Right here, I'm gonna say, uh, oh, we actually don't allow corpses, so yeah, we want this buck to be brought in. Same with this gold. I don't like this gold just being out where anybody can see it. That's easy for a colonist, for a colonist, for a, um, a bad guy to steal it if they had a, a mind to do so. So let's not give them the chance. Also, I want to make sure there's no, um, components just lying around outside in particular. 38 total. Because I know that we have been deconstructing some ship parts. I want to make sure that nothing gets f neglected. I don't think we... Uh, yeah, I think everything has been brought in. So I think we're fine there. Because, yeah, we have instances like this. Compacted machinery that we want to mine in. Or mine out, rather. Got to be shearing Muffy. That's very good. Got some buffalo wool to bring in. Can we try Dolores again? No, we cannot. She is still... Not doing very well. Doing the opposite of very well, actually. Uh, didn't- No, I was, I was not gonna do the Odin Hunt. There was no- Absolutely no way. So, Warbird, I am going to rouse you from your sleep to tend to Arctic real quick. Just give you a little bit more medis medical experience, if you could please. Not that he needs much tending, but it's not a bad idea. Just more medical experience, if nothing else. Hopefully we can bring in a meal for a possum. Is there a loading? Yeah, there's a little loading bar for the shearing. I'm really hoping that Cougar will start to get hungry and hunt one of these guys, but I don't know if it's going to happen. He might not go for them because this might be a low-hanging fruit. Lower-hanging fruit. Although I like this person's name is Pansy. Also, one thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to close up this wall here and then we're going to turn this into a prison and then separate the prisoners because if they're farther away from if they're not if they're in different rooms they're less likely to conspire and to uh, to decide to do a prison break which we very much would like to, to prevent if that's an option uh, from 34 okay so uh, yeah we're getting there has Jim meditated at all um, no not, he's meditated 0% actually. Still cannot attempt to help out Farfnugan. Or uh, not Farfnugan, uh, Dolores. Exchanging pleasantries. And that cougar still has not gotten, oh, he's probably gonna go for the ferret up here. Yeah, it's, that's a low, that's an easier, lower hanging and less risky fruit to go for. 
Jim's like, I want to tame the O. Um, that's great, Jim. I'm going to very temporarily say that that shouldn't be done. In fact, I'm just going to say, Jim, I'm going to take you off of animal taming for just a little bit. Because I want to keep him close by. I don't want people wandering off. Because we got, uh, we got fucking raids coming in. The, the bad guy raids. Not the nice Twitch raids we get. Oh, those, that's the nice kind of raid. This is the this is a bad guy raid. We don't like those. Like to avoid those if we can help it. Squidly and uh, Alpocalypse have been healed up recently, which is good or fed rather. Poor Jim's feeling really rough, man. He's been so sad. Arctic's back up. I think I'm just gonna put Jim on like indefinite, just chill mode, just do anything mode. Because I'm- he's- he is so fucking sad. He's been in such a bad time, but dude, he's going to be for a long time. His son and his fiance died all within- with less- it within less than 24 hours. Of each other. So there- he's gonna be sad for like... Four weeks. Three or four weeks. That's two quandrums. Like 30 days, that's two full quandrums, which is just insane. Poor guy. Try to calm Dolores down if you can, Farfnugan. She's having a rough time of it. Arctic is doing more mining, which is great. Which is very, very good. We have a lot of mining tasks for everybody, of course. Uh, the raid still has not started. Still has not started. They narrowly avoided getting struck by lightning. Wouldn't that have been great? Failed to call her down, calm her down again, man. Uh, they are beginning their assault. Alright, so in that case, let's go ahead and rouse the troops. Make sure no one's in the middle of eating. Jim is socializing. So, sorry Jim, I'm gonna have, have to interrupt you there, homie. Um, one thing I think I might do is wait a beat on, on Void. Because he's in the middle of a task right now. So, we'll, we'll grab everybody except for Void. Should I, maybe I should give Void a gun. His shooting is only one though. No, let's, let's, let's stick with it. I have a feeling this will probably be a pretty quick raid. They're probably going to attack from the bottom area. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's put the animals inside as always, as per the use. Indoor emergency for the animals, including the ones that are injured, but that's fine. They'll be, they'll be okay. So bring these fellows and Cinderella's down hard. And then once Void finishes his task, I will draft him as well, because he is recycling, which is very important. This, this, uh, was that, is that tainted, I think? Yeah, it's tainted, yeah. Get that shit out of there. Alright, so now I will draft Void. Yo, Banger Alert, by the way. This, this is a cool song. This is part of the mod that I installed that adds new music into the game. The P Music mod. P Music. Music to listen to while urinating. N not really, but what if that was... What if that's that was what I meant, though? Wouldn't that be wild? Probably means, like, I'm gonna take some pot shots of these motherfuckers. I'll put Jim right there. And we're missing all the shots because these guys are mostly melee and we can't shoot for shit. There we go. That's what we like to see. Put Gobby there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him in there. So, Void, we're going to have you go for Pansy. Arctic, I think we'll just put you right there. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're closing the distance much better than we were hoping that they would. This guy just got fucking destroyed. Um, how good is Pansy? Should I just... Oh, wow. Pansy's really good. What I think I might do is have all four of these people just melee the fuck out of Pansy. Just overpower this person. Because if we can drop this person, they're a very good colonist. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things they're pretty good at, and they're really good at combat. Which means they're scary with that mace, but I think we can overpower them. So much so, in fact, I'm gonna put Void right there and have him try to fight Galagos and Freddy. So Void, I'm gonna have you... I'm gonna just put Void here. And go for Galagos. Arctic just shot Freddy. Alright, so that person... Oh, are they dead? Ah oh, man, we just we just cannot melee people down. We can only melee them to death. Just a bunch of bruises, just blunt force trauma. 
So a smack in the left ear from Warbird is what did it. And now they're going to flee. I think Void just got shot. <laughs> His right lung and torso. God, that's not, that's not sound very good. No, he didn't get shot. He's just getting, he's just getting smacked. Um... So I'm gonna say Gabi or uh, Arctic rather trying to take a shot hit there. I have a sneaking suspicion G Galagos ain't going nowhere. So let's try and take out the rest of them. Although I'm gonna move Arctic. <laughs> so I don't want him being in that line of fire. We've already seen where that can go poorly, especially when it's pouring down rain like it is now. So that should do it. Yeah, I'm gonna move Arctic. Okay, that person's dead. Yeah, ooh, look at that. He just definitely dodged right at the right time. Uh, so Void, I'm just going to undraft Void. I think Freddy might just escape. Well, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Freddy got fucked pretty bad there by that last shot. Oh, and he's dead. Okay, never mind. I, I, I really wanted to take a colonist or take a prisoner, but no such opportunities, sadly. Undrafted. Um, I know Farvnugan and Void got wounded a little bit bad there. Farvnugan, how you looking, fam? Uh, just a bruise in the head with a mace. Doesn't sound pleasant. Void got a couple bruises. He's fine. So everyone will make a full recovery. No risks of infections, probably. So we should be fine. A couple of low-grade um, weapons. Nothing fancy. Any cool gear? Not really. I mean, we could strip the corpses, I guess, and recycle their gear for, for like, um, for the stiff. Like, that's actually not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's not a bad thing to strip them for, for like, the gear that could be useful. I think for like a lot of the cloth stuff, it's probably not as worth. Like this person, yeah, it's all tainted anyway. Yeah, for tainted stuff, it's not quite as exciting. It's just more work for Void. I'm not sure if it's worth it necessarily. Um, so we have medical beds. So we'll say Farvnigan and Void. Yeah, they'll, they'll want to rest there. Cool. All right, that wasn't too bad. That really wasn't too bad. That, that raid was quite reasonable. Surprisingly reasonable. Randy is not always known for his reasonability when it comes to this kind of stuff. So Gobby's bringing in the bunny. Arctic is mining that out. We'll also want to bring that guy. Dolores is back to normal. And she will need tending. In fact, let's say that is... Yeah, both of these are medical and, and otherwise. So she will need to go resting. In fact, she is moving very slow. 25%. Um, so she will eventually, hopefully, get back to sleep. She's having a rough time of it. Alright, so Void is sleeping. Um, Warbird, I will have you tend to Void. Is this person, person anything we want to strip? No. How about this person? Nope. Nothing, nothing of importance. It's just sleeping next to a dead body and on top of a dead person there. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, once you're done there, we'll have you tend to Farfnugan next. And again, no medicine being used, but it's fine. There's there's no real need for it necessarily. Jim is meditating, which is good. That will ever so slowly increase his life focus. Just need to bury Nitro. There's, there's just so many things for us to do, man. A lot of tasks. Hauling to be done. Then he wants to haul the dead person. Yeah, that's good. Haul the dead people. So, Void has been tended to. Albeit with meager numbers. But actually, that one wasn't too bad. 42%. Not bad. Put a bandaid on Farfnook instead after getting, again, a, taking a mace to the noggin. Which sounds fucking awful. To be clear. Um, I see Gobby's been working really hard. Oh, Jim has gone catatonic. I, I can't say I blame him. He's having a rough time. Although it means we're going to be without food or cooking food for a while. Are we out of meals? We are. Oh, no, that's not good. Well, we're going to need another cook for a while. Who's a backup cook? I guess, Ar Whoa. Um, I guess Arctic will be a backup cook while Jim is down for the count. This will be down for a couple in-game days, most likely. All right, so Arctic, you're our cook now. Cook set to two. We're just straight out of meals, which is- I'm kind of surprised it got that bad. I guess because of the raid, we didn't get a chance to really follow up on it. So Arctic, I'm gonna say... 
Um, oh, cooking skill eight. You need a cooking skill eight to cook simple meals? Really? That's kind of surprising. Oh, it's because we that's what we had set it for. Okay, I'm just going to say minimum of five. Sure, minimum of five. You're it now, Arctic. All right, so we also need to refuel the stove. So let's do that. Another hydrate, yeah. Oh, it's probably... Actually, if it's out of stock, that's kind of strange. It should have like a... Like a five minute cooldown or a ten minute cooldown at most. I'd be a little bit surprised for it to still say it's out of stock. Because the last time it was redeemed by you, uh, Warbird, was, you know, many moons ago. Not many moons, but like an hour or so ago. Maybe it's only once an hour. I thought I said it's like five or ten minutes though. Maybe not though. Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to double check the cooldowns then. Because that seems a little bit strange. Maybe I maybe I meant to set it differently and never got a chance to. I like that uh, Freddy over here, and I and I I don't mean this as in like in, in a dismissive tone. I think it's legit fascinating that the game gave Freddy this dude who has a big beard and a cool hat. He also gave they also gave him a dress, which is fascinating. Colonist needs rescue Jim. Right. I guess I never actually said to rescue him, did I? Here, let's do this. I think I'm going to have you rescue Jim real quick. And then Gobby's having a rough time too. It's only a temporary rough time. Predators on map. Yeah, the clutch... Oh, right. We need to deal with the clutch mother. It's going to continue to hatch a bunch of eggs that are going to give us trouble. I guess we could do this without Jim. Jim's a pretty good shot though. And I will miss him having a musk... I I'll miss his musket... I guess if nothing else, somebody else could use his musket in his steed, in his stead, rather. In fact, we'll probably give that to Warbird, most likely. Actually, no, we'll give it to Gobby. So, Gobby, get you his musket. Let's see, Farfanuga needs to rest up a bit. Void should be mostly fine. In fact, let's see. Uh, manipulation is only slightly worse. Manipulation is not too bad for Void. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this now, actually. In fact, Arctic is, yeah, going down there. So we'll have, so we'll say Arctic. Arctic and Warbird is tending to Dolores. That is very good. Yeah, definitely do that. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to draft boom, 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 and boom. I'm going to leave Gobby for a second because Gobby is, oh, not Gobby, uh, Warbird. Because War because because Warbird is in the midst of tending to the to the buddies, I'm going to try to deal with this Feralisk creature. I think it will instantly go on the attack, most likely. But I want to deal with this now. It's a little bit scary because there's only five of us. But we've done better with worse, with like fewer numbers. So hopefully it'll be okay. And of course it's pouring down rain. Actually, let me think about this. The quest that we accepted... ...for the shitty weather. It was the forced weather. So we have the forced weather for another five days. Do I want to wait five days? I think the answer is no. I think I want to deal with this now. Because he's going to continue hatching it. She's going to hatch eggs and it's going to get scary. So let's deal with this now. Yeah, War you're doing a great job, Warbird. Warbird and Jim are like the... Are, and and, uh, and Gabi are, the, are the, the holy trinity right now. Everyone else is very effective, but those three are the ones that are really keeping it together. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> Right, so, of course, Arctic is the main shot here, and I think... Yeah, she's just barely out of reach. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say... Uh, let's see, what's Warbird up to? He is cleaning things. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and draft Warbird. Get him up here with the shotgun, so bright. Won't you murder some bad guys tonight? I'm going to... I think I'm actually going to move people up a bit. I'm going to put Void right uh, kind of out here. I'm going to put Warbird right there. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to put Frofnugan here. And Gabby right there. And then Arctic, I'm going to put you out front. I need you to start this 
this assault, Mr. Arctic. Number one, I order you to take a number two. It would be nice if this fearless clutch mother would just leave on her own accord, but I'm not gonna guess that. Wow, already, already going to, into revenge mode. I'm not surprised. All right, Arctic, get your ass back into cover, my friend. He's gonna take some pot shots in the meantime. Oh, he's, oh, he's coming in hot. You know, I, for, I forgot to bring the animals out of panic zone, but that's actually gonna work in our favor, I think. Yeah, exactly, yeah, we want to make sure he's far away from bad things that can happen. Look at that, he's, we, like, sometimes we shoot him and it just doesn't give a shit because he's got, like, a fuck ton of armor, or she has a fuck ton of armor. So, you gotta go for those piercing shots, piercing shits. And he's gonna try to shoot some webs at us, probably. But he keeps missing, which is very good. He's going in for melee. Melee is a little bit scary with this guy. Yeah, there he goes. You can see he's shooting the web. It's a little bit hard to see with the rain. Okay, it actually wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Last time we fought one of those guys, it was a little bit scary. But, yeah, again, the webs. It's like, that's what they do. They, they hit you with the web, then they stun you, then they go in for the melee kill. So they never got the chance. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Dealt with that guy. So he is she. She is a done deal. Never even got to lay any eggs, I don't think. Which is very good. Because otherwise that can quickly get out of hand. And eat without table. Good, good. That'll make everyone so sad. Uh, Farfnugan... Want you to rest up. Actually, I guess they don't need to. I guess they don't... Yeah, they don't have to rest up if they don't want to. Because they're... They've been tended to. Yaka Ono is pregnante. Let's, uh... Speaking of which... Set them back into their usual... Places. Take your places. There we go. Let them outside. Let them eat some grass. Let's chill out for a bit. Uh, Arctic, or I'm sorry, not Arctic. Warbird is compulsively compulsioning. Um, let's have Farfleet can try to do her darndest, work her magic on Mr. Mr. Warbird over here. Tend to her, her ex-lover. Try to. Oh, oh. Well, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So this is the second time where we've told Farfnugan to... Oh, no, never mind, never mind. I was about to pop right the fuck off. Yo, Warbird, I thought the Farfin bird was reigniting. So I was about to get so excited. But no, no, it was Void. Void was the one who has, who has, uh, has charmed Farfnugan. Or Farfnugan has charmed Void. So I think Farfnugan historically has been the one to initiate these relationships. And has also been the one to break them off. Yeah, I was, I was about to pop off Warbird. It's uh, actually, it's just kind of tragic. This happened in front of Warbird. So the the awkwardness is palpable, just to put it nicely. So, so there it is. So, yeah, so Farvnigan charmed Void by implying good things about... Oh, wait, is Void a, is Void a lady? No, Void's a dude. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So Farvnigan talked about how... She is good at walking. Her own way of walking. And Void was like, oh my. And then that initiated a relationship. Implying good things about her own way of walking. Th do you ever just like see somebody attractive and you go walk up to them and be like, yo, check this out. I know how to walk real good. And then they're like, oh, mercy. They, they get all flustered. <sighs> Gets them every time. Every time, dudes and dudettes, there it is. All right, so I mean, I joked before, but it's kind of kind of legit. Where we just we just give Farfnugan her own double bed because it's gonna be a rotating cast. Maybe the Farf and Void relationship will finally be the one that allows Farfnugan to settle down, for things to be chill for a bit. Maybe this can work for her. Uh, failed to calm down Warbird. Well, she tried. She tried her darn her darn doodliest. Well, Far Warbird's just going to compulsively clean for a bit. Oh, man. Shit is fucking wild, dude. Uh, Dolores, you've been healed up, right? Yeah, you've been healed up surprisingly well, despite no medicine. You've been healed up like a boss. I see Opossum is sleeping in, your, in the bloody floor, on the bloody floor, even though we have a bed for her. Alright, I think that's as good of a note to end it on as possible, for tonight at least. Let's go ahead and save.